Okay, I call this meeting of the House <clears throat> Veteran Affairs and um, Emergency Preparedness Committee to order. Um, we're going to skip the Pledge of Allegiance, and I will have the AA kindly take the roll call. Chairman Barrar. Here. Representative Borowitz. Proxy. Representative Culver. Here. Representative Ecker. Here. Representative Ferry. Here. Representative Gobbler. Representative Gillen here. Representative Griner. Proxy. Representative James. Proxy. Representative Mako. Here. Representative Mahalik. Here. Representative O'Neill. Here. Representative Polinchuk. Here. Representative Rigby. Here. Representative Ryan. Proxy. Okay. Chairman Sonato. Here. Representative Bizarro. Proxy. Representative Burns. Here. Yep. Representative Fitzgerald. Representative Hill Evans, Proxy. Representative Kulik, Here. Representative Amara, Here. Representative Sappy, Here. Representative Webster, Proxy. Representative Williams. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Great, thank you. I should put glasses on so I can see this stuff. Our first order of business is Senate Bill 589, which is sponsored by Senator Reagan. Um, first, I need a motion to consider the bill. Moved by um, Representative Kulik, having a motion to consider the bill. SB 589 creates the Military Family Education Program, which would provide college education funding for the dependent of a National Guard soldier who re-enlists for an additional six years in the National Guard. The House version of this bill passed our committee unanimously this past um, April 30th is when we um, passed that. At this time, we have an amendment to the bill, which is Amendment A-02169, is being offered by myself, which I will explain. This is a gut and, gut and replace corrective amendment that was worked on by both committee staff, the DMVA, and the governor's office. There were other technical changes that were addressed since our committee passed a similar version of the bill this past April. That was co-sponsored co by Chairman Senato and myself. This amendment makes the House and Senate bill uniform in language, and we are positioning this bill out of the committee, along with the Senate positioning um, the identical House version of the bill. Is there a discussion on the amendment? Any questions from anyone? Hearing none. Um, I do have a motion from, to accept from um, Frank Ferry to accept the amendment. I need a second. Representative O'Mara, are there any negative votes on the amendment? Okay, hearing none, the amendment is adopted into the bill. Is there any discussion on the bill as amended? Do we have a motion to move the bill? Moved by Representative Kolick, second by Representative O'Neill. Are there any negative votes on Senate Bill 589? Hearing none, this bill has passed um, committee with as amended. Okay, um, the next bill for consideration is House Resolution 343, sponsored by Representative Ferry. First, I need a motion to consider the resolution, moved by Representative Burns. Having a motion to consider the resolution, Representative Ferry, would you explain the resolution to us? Sure, thank you, Chairman. Uh, this is a resolution calling on Congress to fund the September 11th Victims' Compensation Fund. Uh, for those that have not seen the John Stewart video from a few weeks ago when he testified before Congress, please take the 10 minutes to do that. Um, tens of thousands of Americans have suffered the health effects from September 11th and then the corresponding work that was done on the pile to, to remove the bodies of the victims of September 11th. Um, we chose resolution number 343 to signify the 343 firefighters that were actually killed when the towers collapsed on 9-11. The Victims Compensation Fund is pretty much out of money. Um, it needs to be fully funded so that these heroes, these men and women that put themselves in harm's way for the good of others get the health care and the benefits that they need. 1,500 Pennsylvanians uh, suffer from the effects of 9-11 and are, are uh, aided through this compensation fund. The bill in Congress to fund this has come out of committee, but has not had full action on the House floor, and there's been no action in the Senate. So I ask for an affirmative vote so the House of Representatives here in Pennsylvania can send a message to our federal colleagues that they need to, to fully fund this compensation fund. Great, thank you, um, Representative Ferry. 
Are there any questions on the, um, the resolution? I have a motion to um, move the resolution made by Representative O'Neill, a second by Representative Sappy. Are there any negative votes on the resolution? Hearing none, this resolution is passed committee. The next bill for consideration is H.R. 247, sponsored by Representative Mahalik. And um, first, I need a motion to consider the bill, moved by Representative Culver. I'm having a motion to consider the resolution. Representative Mahalik, would you introduce your, first of all, introduce your special guest with you, and then explain your resolution to us? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for indulging my daughter Petra today at this meeting. Uh, House Resolution 247 is a resolution memorializing Congress to facilitate and ensure implementation of the VA Maintaining Internal Systems and Strengthening Integrated Outside Networks Act say that 10 times fast, of 2018. The VA Mission Act is designed to overhaul and reform the Veterans Choice Program, along with other facets of the Veterans Health Administration, and strengthen its ability to deliver health care by consolidating VA community care programs into a single program that would be much easier to navigate, expanding eligibility for programs of comprehensive assistance for family caregivers, uh, and also strengthening the VA's ability to recruit and maintain the best medical providers. Uh, the VA Mission Act will strengthen the nationwide VA health care system by empowering veterans with more health care options. Through the Mission Act, veterans will have more choices than ever in getting the timely uh, health quality care that they deserve. Most importantly, veterans will be able to decide what is important and best for them. The Commonwealth is home to nearly 100 million, I'm sorry, 1 million men and women who have served. Uh, being one of those Veterans, I believe this is a much needed reform. Uh, veterans need this to ensure that they receive the quality and timely care that they were promised when they put on the uniform. Uh, I thank the chairman and the rest of the committee for recognizing this important resolution. Great, thank you. Um, yes, this is a very important resolution and we're um, asking everyone for a unanimous vote here. Um, I need a motion to, um, to move the bill, moved by Representative Culver. Um, having, I need a second from Representative Fitzgerald. And um, are there any negative votes on this resolution? Hearing none, the, um, the House Resolution 247 has passed committee. Um, Chairman Senato, any, any remarks? Thanks, Chairman Barr. I think those are all two excellent uh, resolutions, and uh, hopefully we're going to get this uh, credit for the... Uh, National Guard uh, passed the finish line here within the next week. So that's going to be a huge accomplishment for this committee and all the work that we've done over the last uh, five months. So I think everyone should be very proud of their efforts in uh, promoting this and sticking together with us on this. So uh, keep our fingers crossed that it's on the governor's desk within the next week or two. Yeah, this education bill that we're, we're looking at, um, that we passed out, Reagan's bill and, and mine is the other bill, has gotten um, quite a bit of national attention. Um, we, are, we will be the first um, in the country to pass this type of change for the um, college benefit. And um, we have other states contacting us, asking us how we're doing this. And um, um, we really owe the administration a lot of credit, but also um, both our Veteran Affairs Committee and committee staff has worked very hard um, on both sides of the aisle and both the House and Senate committee has worked very hard on this. Hopefully we'll get this to a vote tomorrow sometime. Thank you. 